Hi kindergartners, we're just going to do a little bit of math review today. Um, we're going to look at the number 11. We're going to talk about, let's, let's talk about it right now. We're going to see that the number 11 is a number 1 and a number 1, but there's not a big space between them. Because when we look at the number 11, it means a group of 10 and one more. Okay, so it's not like 1, 2. That would be different. That would be like tally marks. The number 11 has a value that looks like this. These are just some little cards you can cut out to help you understand what 11 is. Here's how we write it, like I was saying, a 1 and then a 1. Here's the word 11. But its value is a group of 10 and then one more. So we would say 10, 11. Like on our tens frame, we would say 10 and one more is 11. Oh, here's those tallies. 5, 10, 11. We could see it on dice. 5, 10, 11. Or we could count 11 bears. Watch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So those are all different ways to show 11. All right. And here you're going to sort out the numbers you the numbers that are 11, glue them on, and then practice tracing your 11s. All right, before you go and do that, I want to show you the little game that I have here. It's kind of a game, kind of an activity, and it's reviewing the difference between rectangles and hexagons. I'm going to show you the two different shapes. And I want someone to tell me which of these is a rectangle and which of these is a hexagon. Okay, Jackson, what do you think? Yes, the one with six sides here is the hexagon. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. And no matter which way I turn it, it's still a hexagon if it has six sides, a shape of six sides. Well, Jackson, does that mean that this is the rectangle? It sure is. It is four sides. But two of them are longer than the other. You know, we could also call this a quadrilateral, and that means that there's four sides to it. Yep, there's other kinds of quadrilaterals, sure. Squares are quadrilaterals, rhombus, mm-hmm. But this is one with two longer sides and two shorter sides. All right, here's our job. Our job is to look for places on this farm where these would match up. Let me see. Look at that. If I put this rectangle on top of here, it matches up perfectly, doesn't it? So we know that's a rectangle. Now, this is weird because they gave me two rectangles, but I don't see another one that looks like that. What's going on here? Nick, what did you notice? Okay, you said on the barn, I see a hexagon. I see the doors. Yeah, what? It's there, but I don't understand because this is the rectangle oh yeah Nick is telling us you just need to turn it and then we could see the rectangle yes both of these shapes are still rectangles okay does anyone see a place where I can place four smaller rectangles okay let's hear from Brooklyn on the fence okay let's see one Two, three, four. You're right. Oh, those we can't see those cute little piggies anymore, can we? Each of these fences has a rectangle shape in the middle. Okay, good. All right, what was this called again? All right, Kylie? Hexagon. Yep, and we're... Oh, uh, something's not right there. That's too big, isn't it? Where should I put it, Benji? Oh, by the hen. Yep, that fits right in there. That shape was six sides, six points. Mm -hmm. The hexagon. Speaking of hexagons, look at these cute little hexagons. Where do you think I should put these? Okay, uh, Lillian? Oh, on the house. Okay, yeah. how about right here? One, two, three. Good. Okay, and what do I have left? All right, Rylan, what do you say I have left? Rectangles. Good. Everyone say rectangle. Good. Oh, and look, they match the color here. I could put one by this drinking 
um, spot there. I could put one on each of these bales of hay or straw. I'd have three here and one over here. So three and one makes how many? Four. Very good. This is another way of showing four, isn't it? Two and two is four. All right, well, studying my shapes here, do I have a greater number of rectangles or do I have a greater number of hexagons? Okay, so Alec, you were saying since there's less hexagons, that means you have a greater number of rectangles. Good, Alec, thank you. Okay, are there any colors of a shape that I have an equal number of? What ones do I have an equal number of? Kaden? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, so I've got, whoa, four blue rectangles, four red rectangles. So there's equal numbers of rectangles. Very good. Okay, do I have more orange hexagons or more pink rectangles? Mm, let's hear from Ethan. Yes, more hexagons, because three is greater than two. Okay, uh, which shape is the largest? Which shape is the largest on here? Um, okay, Remington? What do you mean the green rectangle? I don't see a green rectangle. I see some pretty big pink rectangles. Well, Remington, you are looking outside of the box or outside of the rectangle. You're right. This is a rectangle shape around the outside, and it's green. All right, you got me on that one. That was the largest rectangle. All right, well, boys and girls, today we talked a little bit about the value of the number 11. We practiced our shapes just a little bit. All right, go ahead and get that done. It's not going to take you very long today.